Hey there, Woodcrafters. Um, just going to do a quick ish sort of follow up to the plant bench that I did over the weekend um, and, and a couple of other things just to uh, just try and make it not boring. Try in inverted commas. Um, so, put the video out on Saturday. It, it was late. I normally put them out on Friday. I tried to get them out on Friday. Um, but the, the weather was just absolutely gorgeous and I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'd rather be out walking the bench dog in the woods in the beautiful weather than uh, stuck indoors editing videos. Um, and then we went around to see a couple of friends and a little barbecue and it was all it was all a jolly nice weekend. So um, I, I got it out, actually came back from the barbecue, finished it off and, um, and, and published it. So uh, if you haven't watched it then Excuse me, then, then, then by all means do. So there were a couple of questions. Um, the main, the main one was: um, Are there any plans available? People seem to uh, people seem to like this, and I, 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 I love this. Yeah, I think this is quite, uh, quite, quite cool for the garden. Um, and it's easy to upsize to a, a full size bench. As long as you put your cross pieces in for your slats, and maybe. You know, tweak it with a slightly angled back and maybe mortise these in and curve the seat and whatnot. But all you've got to do is go to the garden centre or um, or wherever you can buy garden benches in your local area and just and just stand and look at how it's built. Um, and, and it's basically a frame. So um, and, and that's all I did. I got asked a couple of times are there any plans available and um, I, I rarely do plans. I I had the only real plans I do are templates. If I use a template for say a scroll saw, bandsaw project, something like that, then I put the plan in for the, the, the template in for that. Um, but I really do, you know, proper build plans like say Matthias does or Jay Bates does or, or whatever. Um, purely because, for well, two reasons, I haven't really got time. And secondly, most of it kind of comes out of here and ends up on there. And evolves as I go, and, and that's kind of how I I like to build these kind of projects. So um, what I'm going to do is just kind of talk through how I went about building it because it's going to be different, um, and it's all governed by the plastic trough that you've got. And I've got some more because I'm actually going to make some more because um, I like them so much. Um, and these are slightly smaller, see, straight away, and you can get ones that are like twice this length, and you could do the same. Um, but the, it, all these dimensions are governed by this dimension, and the way I worked that out was, I started off with the, the width of the trough, I measured it, and I added on 20 mil, three quarters of an inch or so, either end for the tenons. And I knew I'd need three of those, one for two for the frame and then one for the cross piece. So I just then cut three of those. So there's the there's the three. The next um, the next dimension was the, the depth of it, and I did exactly the same. Measured it, added a tenon length on for each end, and I cut four of them. Two for the top and then two for, for the bottom. Then it's the, the arms and legs and it was literally just a case of I want it about that high and I want the arms to be a little bit higher at the front and a lot higher at the back. So I cut some longer ones for the back and some shorter ones for the front. Now. These ones that I've cut here, uh, too long, and they're not too long, they're, they're, they're long ones and there's two of them, um, and, and too short. Um, these are too short, but only if you try and use them for the back. If you want them for the front, then they're fine. Um, like that. And that was fairly um, fairly simple. Next thing, um, when I built it, I marked the inside corners because that was where my mortises were going to be, and I could kind of keep them orientated on the uh, on the bench without getting confused. Otherwise, you end up mortises out on the front and all that sort of stuff. But that's just case you're carefully um, working through. 
So that was the legs. Now with these ones, four end to ends come out of a 1.8 meter or six foot length of pressure treated two to two. So that was kind of good because they're the sort of units I, I buy it in. Um, one eights, three sixes, and four eights. So um, three sixes are better, obviously four eights give you a little leftover and enough for not the short ones. But anyway, that's, that's I digress. Um, once I've got those bit, I didn't bother with the um, the arms for now, and I didn't bother with the slats for now. So all literally all you've got is the bare bones of the frame. With the three long bits, that's how I, I started first. You could quite easily do it for the, um, the sides first. But I started lengthways, I cut my tenons on the, the jig first, and I cut them on both ends. Then I cut tenons on only one length, one end of all the short ones. And the reason for that is, um, if you cut these to the length like that, you put your tenons in, by the time you get your corner posts, it ends up sitting right sort of corner to corner, and that will drop through. Now you can, you can do it that way, but you'll need to put cleats on the inside of your frame. But what I did is I cut tenons on one end, um, fitted it so that uh, there's sort of four little posts in there, and then worked out how much shorter I wanted this, then trimmed them all off, and, and then cut the tenons. Once I've got the tenons cut, um, it was mortises. Now, if, you, if you're not using one of these jigs, then you need to cut the mortises first. Um, we don't have to, but if you cut the mortise first, it's easier to fit the tenon to it. Um, so you just basically work out how high you want the trough to be against the leg, mark a line, and then I marked where the timber was on the face that it needed to be on, and then I went back and marked where I wanted the mortise in that face and covered it in. Um, so if you're using a bench mortiser or a, a hand drill and chisel, um, if you, I found, I find if I do it that way, I know where my timber's gonna end up and it doesn't kind of wander. Um, and and you, get the, you get lined up where you want it, not sort of close to where you want it. Um, and, and that was it, it just then worked around all the mortises, all the um, things, clipped it all together and, and whatnot. But so uh, if you haven't got one of these jigs and you, you've seen it and you like it and you're thinking about it, I, I love mine. I'm, I'll be using it a lot, um, but that sounds a bit over. So that, that's how I, um, I did that. Then I just re, you could use kind of one inch or three quarter inch timber um, and cut the, the armrest out of that, either with a jigsaw, bow saw, uh, band saw, whatever. And then it's just screwed on the top of the um, front arm. And then rather than mortise it into the, the back leg, I just, pocket hold because this isn't taking this is never going to take any weight um, all the weights on on here and then same with these then and then they're going to take any pressure people sitting up against them or back so I just pinned them on the back there uh, rounded these over and then just felt sander over the whole lot it's still fairly rough um, but it's, uh, it's not going to be handled it's not like you're actually going to sit on it and get splinters in your um, hands so um, I wasn't too fussed about that it was more sort of the, the edges and and whatnot, but there's no there's no varnish or, or finish on it at all. Only the the pressure treating, and I think it turned out okay. I'm so I'm gonna be making some more. I'm gonna so I made some little chairs. I found these ones so so I did like two chairs and a bench. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, I think you probably do it for a round plant pot actually. You'd have to put a plate in and or slats in and then cut it round. But uh, maybe maybe have a go at that. I don't know. The other thing I wanted to do, I wanted to shout out to David um, Pichuto, the drunken woodworker. He mentioned me in his weekly woodworking wrap-up review um, and, and made me laugh. It made me cringe actually looking at it because he did a little clip of, um, of my anniversary show and I, 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 don't, I don't I cringe. So um, thanks for that David and I've done a couple of the little succulent planters. I'm quite pleased with these. Um, this is uh, Ripples English Ash and Paduk, and that one is Paduk 
and plywood, birch ply. And then this one is the rest of that piece of ripples ash, which has actually got some, some rather nice spalting in it. And I'm, I was really annoyed because I cut these at a, about seven or 10 degree bevel. And if I'd have done it the other way up, it would have gone that way. And I'd have had a bit more of the spalting on there. But hey ho. Um, and I made this like a, a trough. So I did three, three holes and then just chiseled the, uh, the middle out to give it a, a straight line. Could have used a router. And a router? I was going to say router actually, but um, could have used a router actually. But I did it with, because um, I already had the, the bit set up. So uh, I need to get some more cacti for, for that. No, none of the garden centers around here have got cacti at the moment. They've just got like tiny little displays. No compost. Um, I was quite disappointed. But it's not really, it's, it's this season really uh, for these kind of little pansies and potting plants and stuff. But so um, once that's done. And rather than use a pot in this one here, I think, I think it was this one, I used epoxy. Um, and I, I haven't got any of that two part in the bottle where you, you plunge. So I actually used a, Um, a syringe, two part syringe, and just <laughs> stirred it all up and then paint it. You don't get quite a, such a smooth finish, but if you get a plant pot in there, you can see it. Um, and on this one, I used a, a plastic coat, which I think is urea formaldehyde based. It's quite stinky. Um, that's what the syringes are. I mean, not for anything else. And if anyone was thinking, why has it got syringes in there? Some kind of, no, nothing like that. Um, they're for measuring out the, the parts. So um, I put that, a couple of coats of that in, so see how that holds up. But uh, yeah, they're quite cool. And I'm, I will, I will get those rings done. They're on my, my list. I need to, um, I need to get over to my lathe and turn up a, um, a ring thing, um, like a dowel, for uh, for that. So I think that was everything. I can't think of anything else. Um, I've probably been going on for ages, but. Uh, it's getting a bit warm now, the sun's getting round and it is getting a bit warm in here. So I'm gonna go inside, have a drink, edit, and I'll pop this up. If you, I need to do my Money Save Monday, that was what I was gonna say. Um, if you've got any ideas for Money Save Monday, things that you save money on, um, then please do let me know. And if you've got any time saving tips, then um, let me know those as well. Facebook, Twitter, blah, 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 all those sort of things. I'm, I'm all over the place, so. Um, Feel free, get in touch, you'll get all the credit and um, just help out fellow woodworkers, really. Let's um, it's all, it's all share the love, we'll save money together as one. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you back here next time. Um, I've got some cool little projects. I, I'm gonna have some, some maintenance projects. Uh, I've been sharpening up my hand saws and some planes and I've got some all the bits well, I need a sweet base because I broke my other one um, and some augers and all these need um, these sharpening. I wish I'd had these when I've done the, this stool which is holding up rather well um, so I've got to sharpen those and uh, just a few little fiddly bits and I, I want to get around to doing the, uh, the pillar drill table upgrade as well at some point once I've got all the other jobs and requests out of the way so uh, yeah We'll see you back here soon.